What is up funky people, I'm Iteration Funk and today we're back in Sky Factory for the second episode. And when I woke up this morning, I realized I hit 4000 subscribers and that's a cool feeling actually. So if you have subscribed to the channel, I would just like to say thank you and I do hope you enjoy the content that I'm putting out there. So since last episode, I haven't done much, I made a clay bucket, because why not, and I also made a couple of extra hopping bonsai pots, so now I have one for every tree type we've unlocked so far, except uh, dirt saplings, and I did clean some dirt saplings for oak saplings, so I have these nice looking fine ass trees now, that aren't, you know, don't have brown leaves, it's just a nice vanilla tree. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. So I can put that away and I'm gonna straight away here do a wooden crate from the BDSM mod. Yeah, you heard me right. Barrels, drums, storage and more. And yeah, that makes out to be BDSM. Let's make a BDSM crate. So we can store our wood uh, and I'm actually gonna take some wood from these I think because we're you know we have a lot of wood so might as well do this from the start and they can hold a bit over 4,000 items that's not too shabby as a base and then I think can I even search like that no let's just search a uh, barrel so we can have like upgrade capacity oh interesting that looks rather cheap like 256 times the base and all we need is tin like yeah this is insanely cheap interesting let me just grab out some more wood and we'll get started on some more uh, you know we'll actually progress a bit here so we did a wooden crate and I wanted to show you how you can duplicate or I guess quadruple dirt. In this pack we can get uh, four bottles of mud from putting dirt into water and each mud bottle can be used uh, to turning uh, one leaf into one grass block. So that's essentially quadrupling the amount of dirt you have. Let's um, actually need some dirt here. And is that all of the dirt acorns I have? That's not a good start. I wanted to have more. Let's actually plant some dirt saplings. So the nice things now about having all of these automated trees is I can just plant trees that I need and farm them and let these collect passively. And we're gonna save this apple, I do believe. We need it later to get apple seeds and we can plant that and that will become an apple sapling that looks like a oak sapling but this can also be used to get uh, what sapling is that oh yeah we can wash that apple sapling into acacia and we need that for getting the iron sapling later so we're gonna save that apple Okay, so let's get some grass going here. Uh, we're gonna need to put you in, and then we can take any leaves. Let's take the petrified leaves and get a good amount here. I think we're gonna do three. So one more batch here of mud and grass. And this grass we will use to I think we'll build a little platform out here that we can use to get uh, flowers and stuff with bone meal. Oh, that's not good, but we have some extras, so that's fine. And we can turn this into more dirt. So I guess it's not that bad that I didn't have too much dirt uh, available because we can just use some of the grass to make more dirt like this. That's just an early method to get more dirt and we don't have to worry about doing this tedious recipe. 
which is nice. Get some slabs down here as well that will catch up the drops for us so we don't get them into the ocean. That would be unfortunate. There we go. So I think I want a bed too so we can skip the night. Uh, that would be good for YouTube, brighter content and all that. So we're gonna need a cottonwood sapling to get string. Uh, I think the leaves drop uh, string and we could also dry the leaves into string. But we need bone meal. Now a good way now a good way of getting bone meal is either turning dirt into bone meal, which we can do quite easily now that we can duplicate dirt, or we can turn gravel into bone meal. And that feels like a pretty good idea. But seeing as how we have more dirt than gravel, we might actually use this method. So I'm just gonna do this a couple of times so we have a good supply of dirt and grass. Good, that's 28 grass. Uh, we can put that away for now. I'm not sure if I... Oh yeah, we want to turn some of it to dirt, I guess. So we can get our bomb in. Okay, good stuff. So 14 of that, that could go into bone mill. Just gonna have to jump a bit. And I did prepare some more iron for this episode. So we can make, uh, I think we're gonna make two buckets. Because later we will want to make the cobblestone generator. Uh, and then we need lava and water. And yeah, that's gonna be nice. I also think we're going to make a pickaxe here that's gonna help because some of the stuff some of the machines we might want to break might get destroyed if we use a wooden pickaxe so toss that into the ocean <laughs> yeah i'm really let's not throw in any plastics into the ocean that would be bad okay so we have 14 of that we will need vines which we will uh, dry from jungle saplings and we need jungle saplings uh, for the actual craft as well we needed one down here so we can use some of that mud to make these saplings if we have uh, clay saplings which i do believe is in this chest so let's just take one piece of dirt i guess we need to do the grass so i wonder if we can use the grass as well is that muddy enough Apparently not. And dry one of those to get the vines, maybe even two. And we'll wait that out a bit. And we only needed three bone meal, so we can use the rest to get some seeds and stuff here. And uh, I did, uh, I did notice that the night skybox is different in this pack. Uh, the day skybox is also different, but I kind of replaced it with a more vanilla looking one because I thought uh, the day skybox that's included in this pack is a bit muddy and doesn't look as bright, so I didn't really like that. Uh, let's put some of this stuff away, potato seeds, and we can use the populator to make rose red that we need for a redstone sapling. So, yeah, that's a thing. Uh, we got the vines. We can use this to make a cottonwood sapling. And do we want to upgrade the crook? No, this is fine. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> oh, some of these puns are pretty great. Which one was that? <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Okay, so as you can see, that dropped some string. We got some more saplings. I don't think I'm gonna do a bonsai pot for this straight away. Uh, I'm gonna wait with that a bit because we're also gonna upgrade our soil today. So let's harvest you. Get some more growing. This doesn't look that good. Like white saplings does not look natural. I mean, it's a pixel game, nothing looks natural, but you know what I mean. You know what I mean. 
And I have plenty of roasted acorns, so we're gonna eat a bit here. And I need some more string to make a bed. Um, hmm. Yeah, I'm not gonna shear it. I think we're just gonna do it the grindy way. And plant more saplings until we have the string we need. But you get a lot, I think. Like, yeah, nine. Pretty good. And the resin of this tree is used to make paper. So that's also kind of cool. We can make paper now. If that's something we need. But I don't think we need that. Okay, 14. That's going to be enough. Let's do at least three here. There we go. We can put the rest away. And all of this stuff away, just yes, so we have a clean inventory. And go back here. So the white wool, we will also need some planks, make a bed, uh, place that down and go to sleep. Okay, so we do have a bed and I'm gonna eat some more because, yeah. Now I could remove all of this and we're gonna take a look at soil. We could use dirt and bone meal to get this fertile soil, which is pretty cheap. But another thing we can do is uh, just planting our jungle trees and that could help us get the cocoa beans and I wonder if I remember correctly these trees have a chance to spawn with a cocoa bean on it that we can use bone on so I'm just gonna try and getting that maybe not this one is pretty tall but no cocoa beans I'm glad I got the saplings back. Let's just plant another row here. And yeah, no cocoa beans here either. That one had plenty of leaves. I think we're just gonna stick it in a bonsai pot. And come on. We can do better than this. So we're gonna grab a chest here. We're gonna need five iron. Prepared some bonsai pots. And then we're just gonna do the hopper and the hopping and another chest for the outputs and you can go back here for now and might as well use the grass for soil before we have the mulch so the mulch can be crafted uh, using cocoa and we don't need dirt for this we just need the cocoa and we get two mulch per cocoa bean so i think that's a pretty good yield Let's put you in here and wait for a bit. And yeah, all we can do is wait really. I might look into making the cobble uh, stone generator. To get lava in this pack, it's pretty darn simple. We just need a torch under the cauldron. And we need to put some cobblestone in. So I'm gonna grab some of this so we can make some cobblestone. And there we go lava then we need water and we have some cobblestone over the craft takes six cobblestone and we need some glass too and i can put the cotton wood away so we're gonna make some more sand here and i have plenty of sand 12 why not and we could smelt off of that and these are blocks you go in here. Perfect. So we just need the one glass. Then we can make... Uh, huh. Did I put... Yeah, I put them away. That's, that's a funk up. Let's craft this. And then we will make the next tier because this one is pretty slow. We just need eight iron. And I think it's worth the upgrade here. So we're gonna hmm, we're gonna take a chest and or we might even make a barrel or whatever they are called. Wooden crate. And that's gonna go maybe here for now. Oh yeah, so 64 times zero, and then it shows uh what isn't stacks so this one makes one every tick i think or one every 20 
see tier 2. Yeah, that's one cobblestone every second. Huh. Hmm. The config looks like it's scaled down because the highest tier is just one cobblestone block per tick. That doesn't seem too good. That's just 20 cobblestone per second. Maybe that's because... Maybe it's nerfed because the stonework uh, factory should be better. I don't know. Anyways, we're getting stone here. So, since lava is instant, we could do a lot of lava with this. I'm not sure if we can automate the cauldron. Oh, no, that's, let's not do that. We're gonna burn down our base. Yeah, not a good thing. Uh, cocoa beans, we got some. Perfect. This is gonna be great. So, most of these are just dirt now. And that's a growth time of a little bit over 100% and 90% drop chance. The brown mulch is 142 growth rate and 140 drop chance. So that's going to be great for our production rate here. And I got the sticks. Just going to do as much as we can here. We get two per craft, which is pretty darn good. And we're going to remove you. Uh, take this guy again. Replant this with the brown mulch instead, and that should really speed up our production and give us more stuff. So, put that away. Mulch for the cold sapling, and we're gonna get mulch for you too. Uh, gravel, and finally for the jungle sapling, so we will get more, uh, you know. More of that good stuff. So I can put this away. We already got some more cocoa. Uh, so we can get mulch. And we don't have to use dirt anymore. So we can save our dirt for other stuff. That feels pretty good. So I'm going to put the sticks away. And put the mulch and the other blocks in here. And I'm not sure I have any use for the dirt amber anymore. Except for liquid dirt. So, we're actually just gonna toss you. Okay. So, that's really nice. We got that going. Now, there's a bunch of saplings here we could take a look at. <laughs> Collateral damage. That's funny. Uh, but I think we're gonna do obsidian. Uh, so, study in the dark art. Right click a lava filled cauldron with a water bucket. So, we could do lava that way. Uh, or obsidian, rather. But we could also do lava-infused stone, and I think that's reusable. So hardened stone, how do we make that? We just need one iron ingot, some cobblestone, clay, and sand. Now I do have the clay. We also have the cobblestone. And I think this behavior is reversed from storage doors. You actually have to hold shift to just get one of an item. Interesting. So let's put this up here and I can remove those now. And we're also gonna do this one. So uh, sand I think we're missing. And I do have some sand. So we got four of that. And we can smelt that. And then we're good to use that I think. What is the stone hammer used for? Obsidian dust. Hmm. Quote unquote cobblestone. I wonder what that's used for. So we're gonna wait for two more crafts here. You good? Perfect. So uh, let's find a craft. Get the bucket, and I think this uh, this might burn wood and stuff. I'm just gonna place it over here. Or is it? Maybe our platform made entirely out of wood is safe. But you never know. At least we have an ocean right under us so we can like put out fires. Uh, so what do we do? What, what do we want to do here? Let's just grab a stack. And... Oh, interesting. Now, one downside with this method is... We don't have an obsidian, or I guess we don't have a diamond pick. But there is a couple of block breakers, and I think we're gonna do this one. Can I get bones? 
phone number. Yeah, so we're gonna have to we're gonna have to get the bow number. And I don't have a bone tree yet, I kinda skip that because we could do bone meal with other methods. But how do we get this guy? We just need a petrified sapling and some more bone meal. I do have five. But uh yeah. I think we're gonna use some gravel for that. Let's take one petrified sapling and some gravel so i can make gravel put the gravel back and now this is used in a cauldron instead i think so it's a little bit easier as well oh no okay there we go 17 and here you are a bone sapling and i think we're gonna give you a hopping bonsai plant uh, straight away so we have the bonsai pot we just need some more iron and a chest again and these are really great so do I have more mulch I do believe I have some extra and I didn't grab an extra chest so that was that was dumb let's put you down here you go down here and bone sapling and I'll go to sleep because it's night time again. Okay, so we got some bone acorn. And kind of screwed up because I wanted more saplings. I can only watch right now and wait. If I had an extra sapling, I could actually farm a bit and we would get the bone. But we can make the moss while we wait. But we have one vine. Uh, so we can do uh, this. Get moss stone. Oh, we need to do it three times. Do you have extra saplings? Yeah, a few. We're gonna turn that into vine as well. And okay, so we still need to wait a bit. I think we need five bone resin. We're not quite there yet. And turning these into vines take a, take a bit. But we can make... Oh yeah, hmm. Oh yeah, we need the redstone. That makes this tricky. So I might not be able to break the obsidian here today because getting redstone takes a few steps. Now we need a coal sapling, petrified resin and any uh, red dye. We do have some red uh, dye over here if we turn it into red dye. But we need iron resin and we can only get that from the actual iron tree and to get the sapling we do need that acacia I talked about, so we're gonna have to start working towards that. So, we're gonna get an apple sapling. How did we get that? It was something like, yeah, we need to crush an apple. And hopefully, yeah, there we go. Here it is. I thought I lost it for a second. And when planted, becomes apple sapling. You lie to me. It's not an apple sapling. When planted becomes an apple sapling. Uh, oh, I see it had growth states. That's fine. So we take that, then we wash it. So you need to be filled with some water. And there we go, acacia sapling. So we have one piece of the puzzle and I think I'm gonna grow this one so we have some extras. And we can actually make a better crook now that we have a lot of cobblestone. Gonna toss this into the ocean. Hopefully the squids won't try to eat it. So let's just circle around here. And uh, we got 12. So we're Gucci. Toss that into a chest. Good. And the next step would be actually taking a look at making making grout. Unless we go for we could go for the Tinker's complement stuff, which I think might be easier with the stuff we have because bone meal is kind of easy and clay is kind of easy. And yeah, grout sounds a bit more expensive, and we only need to use this occasionally right now 
So porcelain bricks. Hmm. How much clay do I have? I do have a lot of clay, honestly. So we can use that. And bone meal on the other hand, we don't have a lot of right now. But uh, this guy is working on it, so that's good. So we can do some more. I think we need to fire that up to get the bricks. So we can do half and half here. And oh, we have 10 stacks of cobblestone already. That's not bad. Actually pretty good. I can get a cobblestone axe as well while we're at it. And grab some sticks from you. An axe. Nice. So let me store these for later. We're only gonna use uh, two of them to make some of this. And I think we can make the bone amber now as well. Oh, we can make bone blocks. That's interesting. That would be kind of cool. So one bone amber, that would give us three bones. That's enough for now. And we can also use this to make bone block. And that's your just more bone meal for us. Perfect. Okay, so we have enough porcelain bricks to make a casting table. So that's good. I'm gonna set that up somewhere over here. And put a sapling here. So that's one piece of the puzzle. But uh, we need to be able to melt the iron and then pour it onto the casting table to get this actual uh, sapling. And yeah, this is gonna take a while. So while we're at it, I might prepare a hopping bonsai for that iron sapling. Uh, I'm not actually sure. I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to make an iron sapling this episode. Might run low on time. So I have one hopping pot. I'm gonna grab some iron. Kind of running low now, but that's completely fine. Make one of these. And you go over here. And I need one extra block of brown mulch. You go here. Nice. Really nice. So I think I'll just wait around a bit until I have plenty of the porcelain bricks so we can start doing the tank and the melter. Uh, because I think we can power the melter. Yeah, I think the best, the best bet here is to power the melter with a tank. But this is kind of cheap. What do we actually need? Do we need redstone for the controller? No. I guess that's good. You could do it either way. So you can be the bones that we need for that block breaker. And this should be turned into, I think we can make, let me check complement again. I think we can make the melter. And then we're gonna need a tank. Oh, I could make both. So you could probably be underneath. You can go here and need a faucet. Oh good, we can make the porcelain faucet. That's great. So we're just gonna plop that down in our inventory. And I need some more fuel for this guy. They really are hungry for it, but we are using uh, pieces. One faucet, put that here. And how much do we need? Sapling, iron sapling. We need one ingot, that's not too bad. Uh, and you might work, but we need heat, of course. So uh, let me just grab four of this and I'm out of buckets. Have I used all of my buckets for stuff, really? No, here they are. So quickly take that out before we burn our base and place that down here. And yeah, you're working. Cool, nice. So I might actually be able to do this this episode. I'm underestimating my multitasking skills. So what did we need to make the breaker? The block miner 
Uh, yeah, we required red stone and one piece of string. So we're just gonna take that piece of string. But I didn't automate the cotton wood, of course. So let's take that out of there. And pour, pour, pour. Let's take you and put you over here where you belong. And there are some later tiers of mulch that's interesting, like the, <laughs> the latest tier or the last tier has pretty insane growth rate, but it takes a lot of tiering to do. Next tier requires mechanism machines. We need a crusher to make the biofuel. Uh, but there's no stress really because it's a small upgrade. We go from 142 growth rate to 166. So that's not too interesting. There's our iron resin that we needed for the redstone tree. Kind of forgot we needed this. Uh, there we go, rose red. And let's see, we need petrified resin and a coal sapling. So a coal sapling and petrified resin. Redstone sapling. So we're gonna have to grind this out. Uh, right here because I don't have any more slots right now and I'm running low on iron. Let's take a crook. 10. Nice. And we're kind of getting to the stage where we can get these nice recipes where we only need the acorns. We don't need the resin really. So that's just easing for compacting recipes and stuff. Okay, that's enough for one redstone block. So we get nine redstone and let me put this away. We don't need it. And uh, we need cobblestone dough. And I think it was a dispenser. Yeah, dispenser. Uh, I should put the block breaker, the block miner up here. And oh, it uses our iron pickaxe. I don't like that. That's fine, I guess. And redstone repeater, uh, or some sort of timer. We don't have gold. Um, I'm not sure if this has a timer, but oh yeah, I might have messed up. I need a stone pickaxe, at least, to be able to turn this the other way around. Hopefully stone works, yeah. Oh, come on. Is there a cy cyclic wrench? It's fine, we can just go over here. And I think that's that's what we need. And can I make a button for a lever? I think we need smooth stone for that. So we're gonna take you out, make a couple of pieces of smooth stone here, and then I'll wrap up the episode if I can get this to work. Okay, button. Hopefully this will work. Oh wait. Did you do that automatically? Ha! Huh. Wait, that's actually interesting. That's uh, plenty worthwhile if it's, uh, you know, automatic. Oh, yeah, I shouldn't stand on the lab, I guess. Always on. Oh, it's actually not an instant break. But yeah, we can do something automatic with this. That's awesome. Anyways, that's everything for this episode. We got uh, kind of semi-automatic obsidian going and redstone saplings and iron saplings. So plenty of progress and I hope you guys are excited for the next episode. If you really enjoyed this episode, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching, take care and stay funky!